Hello everyone, this is a uh, tutorial on setting up Drupal 8 on a local host server. Uh, so if you can do development on your local host and this is a video to help get you started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into where our local host files are, which is here. and I'm going to create a new folder called Drupal 8. Drupal 8 and this is where we're going to download Drupal 8 and install it. Uh, you can either just download it from the website and manually install it or you can use uh, Drush. I do recommend using Drush uh, and to use Drush the first thing we do is we need to get into that directory so I'm going to go change the directory to websites Drupal 8 the folder I just created and now I'm in that directory so now I can uh, download and install Drupal using Drush so you just type Drush DL Drupal and this will download the latest version of Drupal which is currently 8. Okay, so now we have installed Drupal 8. Well, it's not installed, it's just been downloaded. Um, we're going to go back to our file manager and you can see here is where it, it has downloaded. I'm going to go into the file, uh, select all, and I'm going to move this to one folder up, which will be Drupal 8, select So I just moved that all the files up one directory. So now we're ready to get going here. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is, now that we have it downloaded, is we're going to go into the sites directory. And the default directory, we're going to right click properties. And we're going to make sure that this has access, uh, www-data is this is the uh, user that Drupal uses so I want to make sure that they have access to create and delete files for the install so we got that done and then we're in the default uh, directory and this is for the default site so uh, what you want to do first is you want to right click on your uh, or you want to click on your default settings.php and you want to copy it and then you can paste it and then you want to uh, let's see here rename this to settings.php settings.php alright so once you get that done the next thing you're going to want to do is we need to set up a database so I'm going to open up a new tab here and I'm going to go to my local host and I'm going to use PHP my admin and this is where I'm going to set up my database add a new database and I'm just going to call this Drupal 8 Drupal 8 database has been created so I can close out of that now if I go back to my local host and then if I go into the Drupal 8 folder it prompts me with the Drupal install uh, screen English continue and I'm just going to do the standard and now we're into the uh oh we have a problem requirements problem uh oh so it says the settings file is not writable so that means my settings.php folder here I need to change the properties on it or permissions and I got to change this to www.data as well so now uh, the install can write to that file so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and start this over here 
choose the language, save and continue. I'm going to do standard. Okay, and this is where I put my database name in. Drupal 8. And I'm going to save and continue. And this will start the install pro uh, process. Uh, it takes a few minutes with uh, Drupal 8. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back as soon as this is completed. Okay, so now that the site has... Make sure this is recording. Okay, it's recording. Okay, so now that the uh, Drupal has installed, the next screen is the configuration screen. Uh, this is where you um, name your site, set your email address, it's going to use my email address, username, you can use whatever you want to use. I'm just going to put demo, and then I'm just going to do a demo username and password. Okay. I don't want to do the updates. Country, I'm going to do United States. Oops. There we go. And that's my time zone. Save and continue. We're going to let this run for a second. It shouldn't take long, hopefully. Okay, so now we have that uh, set up and ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back into our file browser here and we're going to go into the uh, Sites folder, Default. And the first thing we want to do is we want to set the properties on this. I'm going to change the permissions back to uh, So the uh, Drupal install does not have access to write to it anymore. And now what we are going to do is we're going to go to the sites directory and this example settings.local. Uh, this is a uh, local settings file that you want to you want to use on your um, local host. That this file will not be uploaded to your remote, so the settings can be different for debugging and so forth. So I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to my default, and I'm going to paste it in here, and then I'm going to rename it to settings. Dot local dot php that's all you need to do there uh, now we are going to go to uh, development settings okay so okay so we have everything done there so the next thing we want to do is I'm going to open up my uh, editor I use brackets. I'm going to open this up. And we're going to open up the file that's under sites, development services, YAML file. This is a YAML file. We want to open that one up. And then we also want to open up the file that says default default services uh, YAML file. We're going to open that up. Okay, so what we're going to do, what, what these two files are used for is uh, these are for using settings for turning on debug and uh, turning off the cache. So when you're building your theme you can debug and you don't have to worry about the uh, the cache running all the time. 
So to do that, what you want to do is, uh, in the default services, you want to look for some settings, and we're going to get the parameters. So this is what we're going to need first, and we're going to copy this over this, copy this over into our development services YAML file that we opened up, and we want to make sure that you start at the edge, and then you want to go two spaces, and you use the space bar. Uh, because the YAML file reads indent indentions. So what we, we want to do is we want to go parameters and then two indentions and then we're going to get this twig config. So we're going to change some settings on this uh, twig config. I'm going to just copy this and I'll paste it over here. So now we have a twig config and in the twig config we're going to have some to change some settings so we're going to go two spaces over and what we're going to do is we're going to set the default debug to true, auto reload to true, and cache here to false. Okay, so uh, we're going to just basically do them settings over here. So we're going to go debug true. Okay, and the next one we're going to do is uh, auto underscore reload. colon and we're going to do that to true and then we're also going to do the cache oops cache to true no to false I'm sorry that should be false because we don't want to cache the pages okay so once we have that done we're going to just save this so all you do is save it. Um, and now, once we get that done, you can read through this uh, default services and any settings that you want different on your development server versus the real server. You just pretty much do the same thing. You just uh, copy the Make sure you copy the uh, indentions and settings and so forth for everything. And you have to remember that, like, if you wanted to change this here, you would have to put parameters colon and then spaced in and then session storage options and then this so it's, you know, it's staggered. Uh, just like we did twig because we did parameters and then it here we did twig and then the next one we did was the debug false you just have to make sure you do the indentions and it, it again it is two spaces there isn't it's not tab or anything uh, it's this is the YAML file how the YAML file works you can read more about that at their website okay so the next thing we're going to do now is now that we have everything that we're going to need set up in this development services YAML file we're going to go back to our site and oh we're going to have to go and open up our file manager and get back into our site first because we have to tell Drupal to use this file um, and the way you do that is if you go into sites default and then we have our settings.php and we have our settings.localphp. This is the file that is local to your development server, and this is the file that would be moved to your actual web server uh, where your, where your um, site is hosted. And the reason why they do this is because you can have settings differently, and that way you don't have to worry about uploading the settings file and then all of a sudden your cache is turned off on the actual web server, and uh, that just wreaks havoc you know it can cause a lot of problems so it's it's just a quick easy way to keep files separate for your development versus your web host okay so the next thing we're going to do now is if we go into our settings PHP file so we're going to open that up in brackets so I'm going to just go file open and then if I go into Drupal 8 and then it's going to be under sites default settings.php open that up 
and now we're into that. Now we're going to scroll all the way down here, all the way down to the end of the file. A little bit more. Let's see here. Local development overrides. And then if you see right here, um, you want to unblock this. Okay, so that basically says if the file exists, settings.local.php, then use the settings in that. So we're going to save that. Okay, so now that we have that saved, we're going to uh, close everything out. I think we should be done with that for now. And then we're going to go back to our install here. And we are going to, the first thing you want to do now is you're going to want to head to go into configuration. And then we're going to go uh, do, 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 performance and clear all caches. Let that run real quick. Okay, there we go. And that's, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab. The main site. Back to localhost. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to go view page source and make sure everything is working here. Okay, we can tell it's working because by you see all of these files here are all open. Um, let's see here. They are not aggr uh, aggregate CSS files and aggregate JavaScript files, even though this is setting setted even though this is set, I'm sorry, even though this is set you can see they're not and that's because the uh, the file that we set up for in the settings turns that off automatically in the in the uh, development PHP file and you can also tell if you come and scroll on down you can tell here this is the debug that's been turned on it tells you uh, where to find different tempo tempo files where this is being pulled from so this just helps you out in your um, in your in your in in your theming okay so that's how that works and this basically that's pretty much it for now uh, as far as setting up your Drupal 8 uh, website on your local server for development uh, we will be making some more uh, videos for templates, templating, and, and doing all other, other good stuff in Drupal. Anyway, uh, that's all for now, and we'll see you later.